Prince Philip. The royal family remembers, was initially commissioned to mark the Duke's 100th birthday. Camilla Parker Bowles, 74, and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, 66, revealed the covert role of Prince Philip during last night's BBC documentary. Prince Philip has helped the royal newbies find the truth of life. The Duchess of Cornwall said, I saw the way he supported the Queen, you know that, not in a flashy sort of way, but just by doing it quietly, following along behind it. It's something that I've learned by watching him, she added. But sadly, the Duke of Edinburgh passed away aged 99 in April just a few months short of the special day. But the programme has now given members of the royal family to share their fond memories of Britain's longest-serving consort. While this included the Duke's children and grandchildren, it also included two of his in-laws, who shared Prince Philip helped them find their place in the company. Sir Lawrence, who tied the knot with Princess Anne in 1992, said, when he Prince Philip married Princess Elizabeth as she was then. He wondered what the template was for the husband of a queen. Of course there wasn't one. You know that it's no good trying to copy somebody else in the royal family. He had to plough his own furrow, make his own way. And he made the same point to me. You have to do it yourself. Sir Lawrence recalled how the Iron Duke remained adamant, much to the disapproval of the British comic, that the English breakfast food should be fried not boiled. The Royal Navy man also went on to claim the Duke of Edinburgh had a jovial argument with Les Dawson over how to cook black pudding at the Royal Variety Show. While Sophie Wessex, Prince Edward's wife, did not discuss Philip's role in shaping her entry into the royal family, she did reveal that the Barbeck loving Duke was a massive fan of the Harry Bikers. She also spoke about the successes of the Duke of Edinburgh scheme. If he could have projected forward when he first started it to how it is today, I am sure he could never have imagined that his program touched so many lives.